morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depends where in the world you are calling from. Thank you for joining our awesome training Zoom today, where we are going to be giving you some amazing information on this business, what we are busy with, with a special focus on Africa. We have put together the most amazing Zoom for you today with awesome women crushing this business. And I wanted to invite these ladies all together at the same time to share with us how they see this business, how are they doing this business, and maybe you are here for the very first time where you are looking into this business and you want to find out who are these crazy people and what are they busy with? Well, you are at the right place at the right time. We are going to give you some good information. And uh, if you have any more questions, please go back to the person that invited you to the Zoom. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to start off with an amazing woman and and if you can, Anthony, if you can help me spotlight Tammy Maltby um, with me, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, thanks. Guys, Tammy Maltby Melchizedek, most of you know her, but if you do not know her, she has a beautiful story of restoration and how this business helped her to get financial freedom at an age in her life where she suffered tremendous loss and had to become very resilient. Tam, thank you for joining us um, as our first guest. And Tam, I want to ask you, will you share your story with us and kind of give us an overview of what is this business all about? What are we doing here? And um, if somebody's listening for the first time, if we can just give them a little bit of an overview. Absolutely. Well, first of all, welcome everybody. It is such a thrill and honor to be on this Zoom with a power packed group of women. Let me tell you, I am honored to be um, here with you. You are going to hear from some of the most incredibly, talk about resilient, resilient women, not only that have overcome obstacles in their life, because I think all of us can identify with that, but they are launching the country of South Africa, Namibia, and Botswana. Um, Lesotho, uh, Swaziland, and Nigeria. And so we are so amazed at the moment that we find ourselves in right now. And I just want to encourage you, if you are on this Zoom and someone invited you, listen up. I'll tell you what, one day someone shared this opportunity with me and it totally changed my life. I had no idea. I was listening just like you, hearing the opportunity that I knew nothing about. I knew nothing about direct sales. I knew nothing about network marketing. I knew nothing about this industry. And yet when my friend came to me, someone that I trusted, he gave me hope, trust, and a plan. And he said, Tammy, I'll come alongside you. I wanna introduce you to this company and I wanna share the opportunity with you. Well, little did he know, he and his wife, um, that I was looking for a business opportunity. I was looking for an opportunity that I could create my own business, I was working full time at a part time. I traveled three weekends a month speaking and traveling the United States. Uh, I come from a media and publishing background. And yet we had gone through significant loss in 2008. Financially, there was a huge crash here in the United States with real estate. And my husband and I were affected by this. And even though we had worked our whole lives very, very hard, one thing after another after another of the economy started to crush what we had saved for and invested our whole lives for. And maybe today that's where you find yourself. Uh, 2020 was a rough year for a lot of people. And I have hope for you today that we have an opportunity for you of a transformation to get you to where you want to be. I don't know what it is. For me, it was financial. And within two years of running and building this business, uh, we were able to pay off all of our debt to become debt-free and profitable immediately. Actually, when I started in this business, within weeks, um, my business was making money for me. And uh, pretty soon I could retire my full-time job. And eventually I even retired my part-time job and I ran this business full-time. So this is an opportunity. How do we do it? What is New Age Africa? We are an opportunity that that is coming to where you are very soon, like very soon. We've been building this for nine, 10 months. 
And uh, this is an exciting opportunity that's coming to you. Basically, our focus is to help people create a transformation a transformation of where they are now to where they want to be. Maybe it's a health transformation. Maybe it's a weight loss. Maybe you need better energy, maybe better sleep. I don't know what it is, but we have a house of brands of many different products that can help you to get to where you want to be. And so we link arms together. We get a pack of products. We drink them for ourselves. We discover our own transformation and then we share it with other people. And other people are excited to hear because they too are looking for a transformation. So I don't want to take up too more, much more time, Erica, because we have a powerhouse group of women coming on here. But I just want to welcome you to our call today. I want to tell you that we indeed do have hope, trust, and a plan. Take your pencil, write that down. Hope, trust, and a plan to get you to what your goal. What do you want a little bit more of in your life? And what do you want a little less of in your life? We believe we have the vehicle of hope to take you there. So thank you so much for having me, Erica. Wow, Tams, that is, um, you've lived it. You've walked I it. I have. And, and um, <laughs> what an honor to have you on. Thanks thank for you. sharing that. And you spoke about the power of transformation. And transformation, Tams, implies change, right? Absolutely. Yeah, and sometimes change is tough. You have to change your finances. You have to, you know, change your mind, change, change your mindset, change, mindset. change the way you think. I call it stinking thinking. You got to get rid of the stinking thinking and you right. have to surround yourself with life giving people. I'll tell you one more thing and then I really am done. This group of people, these women and men that are running this organization, New Age Africa Movement, they are the most amazing, positive, um, like minded, community driven people I've ever been a part of. And I've run this business for seven years. I've never seen such encouragement, like-mindedness, linking arms together. Boy, I'll tell you, if I could start all over, and I would, if I could, I'd start all over. Because I, what I know now is it's so incredible who you link arms with. Mm -hmm. But this is the team, and these are the people, and the time is now. So, Tam, let's talk transformation. Because I want us to focus on the fact that this business brings about transformation to so many people in their health and in their finances. And um, also for us, right, as individuals, it brings about great transformation. And there is a woman that I want to ask Anthony to spotlight. Her name is Cindy Kruger. Um, we say Cindy Krier. But you yeah. might also say Cindy Kruger, right? Cindy Kruger lives in Bloemfontein. And if we can bring her on, that would be absolutely amazing and spotlight her. This woman is one of those people that I approached with a business many months ago. And I said, Cindy, are, Cindy, are you on here? I saw you. Let's just double check if she's still on. I know we have load shedding. Um... Cindy. So let's see. And can we bring Cindy on? I see she is on. Since can you unmute yourself? I did. Okay, so you are <laughs> unmuted, Cindy. I don't see you. If Ants can just help me bring you on, oh. say, where will we be without Anthony? Oh my gosh, give it up for Ant Moreland. Keeps us all sane. All right. <laughs> Now, Cindy, I want to come back to you because you and I spoke months ago. I told you about what is coming to Africa and you gave me 600 excuses why you were not interested in the business, right? And then I go on to Facebook and I see Corlia Hector posting, welcome, Cindy Krier. I was like, what? <laughs> so tell us about that, Cindy. What happened between you and me talking, and where are you today? Because you are experiencing such a beautiful transformation. A huge congratulations to you. Thank you, Erica. Hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Coria that really uh, <laughs> tried to convince me to take the next step into this business. And I'm really uh, very grateful for all of you guys for pushing me in the right direction. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I started um, in, uh, well, I joined the company in December last year. 
to be exact the 21st wow so it was just before christmas <laughs> oh, wow. and um then uh, i didn't use any products then i thought to myself you know what i'm first going to get my mind right before i'm starting to use any products and in january 18th this year i started using mostly the slenderize and um Rejuvenix, Moa, and Vinali. I didn't use that as often, but I used my Slenderize um, very good. Every time I had to uh, drink it, I did. Mm. And I stuck to that. And I've had a tremendous transformation in this four and a half months, almost five months. I lost three dress sizes over this nice period of time. And I feel wonderful, fantastic. So the proof is in the pudding. So anyone that wants science, be proven to this product, they can just phone me. <laughs> I made little changes in my life. And I'm really glad that I took that step to join into this company. So Cindy, and your transformation is opening up a business for you. How do Definitely. You, how do you feel about that? Well, I'm overwhelmed about that because people are phoning me that I've got no clue. And I said, oh, I saw it on Facebook. And then I thought to myself, where did you see it on Facebook? I might because be it's only me. for my friends. But yeah, no, so really, um, it's actually at this stage in my progress that I realized I am an influencer. I am there to change people's lives. I love it. Cindy, well, I will tell you this. Um, we, we are a company that really is proud of the product line that we have available. Now, if you're new to this call, you have to understand that we work in almost 70 plus countries, almost 80 countries worldwide. And we have a bunch of products designed for a health 360 approach, which means internal and external clean products. And if we say clean products, we can call Diana Latson to verify exactly what does clean mean, right? Because some people say clean and then it isn't. So we have these amazing products and these are some of the products that Cindy are referring to. But Cindy, in Africa, we are going to be getting African products, right? Products for Africa, made in Africa at an African price point. How excited are you about that? And taking a product that is affordable to the people of Africa, because in Africa, price point is a huge thing, right? How do you feel about what's coming? Well, I'm very excited about that because I'm definitely going to have to make a change to using the African <laughs> product. I think that's what people are waiting for, for me to yeah. use them. Yeah. So I'm very excited to see what the range is for us to use here and to fit people's pockets because yeah. I realize. Um, that it is a bit expensive for people yep. here to buy the products, but I'm keeping them very up to date and um, motivated for what's coming for them. Well, and the beauty is, even if you're in Africa, you can do business all over, right? So that's the beauty of this business. You can work all over the world. Well, yes. Cindy, man, I can sweat through to you. I'm so proud of you. You are just killing it. And Huge congrats with your weight loss. And we know this is only the beginning for you and Fadi and Jamie and all of you guys in the family. I've known you many years and it's just a joy for me to see you as part of the team and work hand in hand with you. We love you guys very much. Thank you for sharing your transformation. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Oh, she's so pretty, this woman. I'm telling you, she's, she's a rock star. Um, I want to invite an amazing woman on to join me um, and Tammy. I want to invite Tams on as well. And I want to ask um, that we give a huge round of applause to Corlia Hector. Corlia, will you unmute and join me and Tam as um, I introduce you to everybody on this call? Coria Hector is an amazing woman, you guys. She is a leader. She is that silent strength, like the backbone. That is Coria Hector. She is the one that is the most mm -hmm. consistent. Um, she's just doing her thing without being thrown off guard. Coria, and you have an amazing gift. 
you know a lot of people and you manage to include a lot of people into your, your business. How did you do that? How does the business work? You enrolled and what did you do then? I just want to make sure if you can't hear me, just do something like this. I hear because I stay for the night in the city oh, okay. because the signal is weak at the farm and now the signal here is also up and down, up and down, up and I down. I've got you, Korea. We hear okay. you. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, Erika. <laughs> You can't do this business without a team. You can't do this without leaders um, that have the skills. I'm lucky. I'm lucky to enroll um, people with a lot of skills. Um, so, yeah, maybe they are going to WhatsApp me after after this so i'm <laughs> i want to ask you Paulia, how like do you think this business is very difficult to do you know what the only thing that are stopping someone is is fear um that is what i learned with my journey this is totally out of my comfort zone. Yeah. And uh, that is why I am every day, I am so grateful about this amazing people. Um, yeah. But for me, it was is out of my comfort zone and fear. And Saturday, I listened to a guy in, Af in South Africa, he's a... Um, multi-millionaire um, is 27 years old oh, wow. and he said because the fear of regret are way worse than any other fear you can take today and this is where I was I was everything um, I found anyone I can find to help me but if you just can overcome your fear I mean people that know me would say why why are you speaking here in front of 68 people because that is not me yeah. but it's gone yeah. so but no you, it's you not a, it's this is this is easy you made a decision though that, that you wanted to do this business and you went for it right and so Tam you and I have been confronted with the fear issue with Corlea right Fear is real, you guys, and you always wonder, am I going to succeed or am I going to fail? Especially if you've experienced failure in business in the mm. past, right? Korea, you've had to overcome a lot of obstacles while doing this business. Yes. And I don't want to go into all of that, but looking back to where you are today and your team today, and you started a year ago, um, what do you wish you did differently and what are you proud of that you did well i think from the start um you must show a little bit more of you um yeah and not really like i like my personality i do things behind the scenes um in this business step up step up overcome your fear step up no one is um laughing at you or they are here to help you and this is um such of the company and yeah now i'm out of line but this company i know in in september i must say that in september i said in a zoom who is this people because yeah. I remember they that. are yeah they are really bending backwards to help you and personal things they will help you if you don't like your upline or if you don't like whoever you um are supposed to speak go to anyone go to anyone yeah. i think 
Eric Uri will also help you. <laughs> <laughs> this is really well. this is how great um, this business this business is. Yes. Well, well, Korea, but yes, I overcome. Um, if I can say that, I have overcome a lot. I have a very um, big health transformation with the products. Um, financial transformation. We are one of those people who lost in COVID our business. Yeah. But keep your head up. And, yeah. and Cordia, thank you for saying yes. And you are just an example for me that you don't have to fit in a mold to do this business. Yeah, it's my pleasure. You, you are just an amazing rock for so many people. And um, no. thank you mm -hmm. for stepping up and saying, yes, we really love you guys. Um, thanks for, for all you do, Coria. We love you. Guys, um, Coria spoke about fear. No, and we I, love you too. Uh, and I know that fear is a huge thing, especially for us in this day and age where we have experienced failures. We're not kids anymore. Delivered once also club, right? If I don't even know how to translate it. But the fact is we have experienced losses in our lives. And I want to invite an amazing woman, Yarin van der Westeisen. And if we can spotlight Yarin with me and Tam, um, Tam, and you can piggyback with me on this, but um, or tag team with me. But Yarin van der Westeisen from Namibia is a woman who is just she is a powerhouse. I see somebody typed it, but she's not only beautiful, she has a passion for integrating the way we think and the way our brains are made of function and putting that in the framework of your business. Now, Yarin, how welcome. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank, thank you for joining us. us. So oh, thanks, awesome. you guys. Can you. can you hear me well? We yes. hear you. Okay. Yarin, Perfect. tell us a little bit about yourself. When did you do the business? Where do you live? When did you join? Okay, I joined last year in September. I think it was September. It feels like two years ago and five minutes ago, all at the same time. <laughs> yeah. It's like my brother said it is one wedding anniversary. He said it feels like two minutes. Good, good evening, everyone. <laughs> so, so. Um, there we go. Oops, Yarin, you are muted. Sorry. Then how's, there go. how's it now? No. Perfect. Okay, good. Um, so in any way, it feels long and short at the same time that I've been part of this and some aspects of it have been so surprising. And um, for me, the thing that I love the most is the human connection that we make, the people we meet, the friendships that form, and the thinking about how we can add more value, because obviously we all believe that they are fantastic products, that the people are amazing. And I'm a reader. I love to read. I love to, I read stuff that has nothing to do with anything I do. So I, I'm reading about, listening to stuff about the brain and the body and the heart and all kinds of stuff that would normally maybe not be interesting to everybody but an interesting thing that I recently read in the context of the fact that we also need to look after ourselves you know if you are in a business you need to take care of yourself all the time it's one thing to now run around and rush around and try and help everybody to succeed but you must also take care of yourself and there are two things two interesting things that I recently uh, discovered the one is that they did research it's actually the, the biggest a group that they've ever did, done this research on and they found that the top performers in the world and these were sportsmen and women and CEOs and the Fortune 500 companies bosses and owners and they were they were asking them all kinds of questions and what they found out is that the average top performer works for a stretch of 52 to 56 minutes at a time and then they take a break so these people can maintain work for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and days and weeks and months and years because they never allow themselves to get tired. They stop at 52 to 56 minutes, take a break, 
and then do the next wow. 52 to 56 minutes. So that's an interesting thing for all of us to think of because your cycle that your body functions in is a 90 minute cycle. Mm -hmm. So take your hour, work your butt off and then take a small break mm -hmm. to just, just to, to give your body chance to recharge. And then you will never ever get to the end of a day where you feel like you are totally, mm -hmm. totally over it and so broken and tired that you can't function anymore and a realistic expectation is to have maybe four of these cycles in a day for the average person i'm sure so, someone would be able to maintain more than that but this is for the average person so yarin talking about work habits and self-care and the importance of when you work you want to be effective how did that play out in your new age business how do you how do you pull this knowledge into your business, into the day-to-day -day operations of your business? Look, for me, I've tried to find the times of the day that I am most efficient and um, work the best. And I find for me, mornings are fantastic. And then also sometimes, interestingly, I like working. I have three kids. So I, when they go to bed in the evening and it's quiet, because in my life, quiet is a luxury that I don't often experience. <laughs> so for me, silence is a, is a guiding factor uh, just because of the practicalities of the life that I live with three boys. So, um, and I try to, I, you know, if you allow yourself to be guided by how you feel in a moment, then you sometimes, you sometimes fall off a wagon just because of an emotional moment it's or true. a little bit of tiredness. So if you feel um, tired or demotivated or uh, down, it's very important to maybe just quickly get up and shake around and physically just move. And, and an interesting other thing that I, that I also learned, which I didn't know, well, it's logical if you, if you hear it, is if you feel anything, if you wake up in the morning and you've got a big day ahead of you and you feel like you're slamming up against a wall, it's important to look back because the emotions and the state that you feel right now is probably a result of your, the last 48 hours of your life. So you probably maybe didn't move or you didn't drink enough water or you mm. had a fight with your sister and you need to just quickly call her and just resolve it. Or, you know, so it's important yeah. for us to, if you want to be effective, look at other stuff too. For me, that's very important. You want to do the business well. Yes. It's important to make sure that you're, that the stuff around you, the things that can, can take away from your attention are taken care of and, and, and I don't want to say put to bed, if you know what I mean, but I mean, no. you just want to make sure that you set yourself up for success. And when you're yeah. going to sit down to work, be ready, be positive, have your stuff sorted out. Um, I had quite an emotional day today, for example, just because of other stuff that has nothing to do with the business. And it's, it's important to, to pull yourself towards yourself and and just recalibrate for a moment so we live busy lives yarin we're busy women right we yeah. we don't just do business we also have to cook and do the washing right that's my <laughs> life right and we have kids um what do you like about this business tam you have a cute saying about pockets what what is that saying oh totally that you can fit this business into the pockets of your life. It's in fact, it's one of the reasons I ran with this business because uh -huh. I, I was running a full-time business. I was working full-time and working part-time on weekends. And I had my 80s, nine-year-old mother living with me at the time and seven grandsons and hello, you know, you only have a few minutes, little pockets here and there. <laughs> but when I started, that's what I did. I just found that areas of time. And I love what Jaren said about finding the quiet, like, yeah. being intentional about building your business mm -hmm. uh business income producing activity income producing activity is so essential not just busyness not scrolling through instagram but actually doing things that create momentum and income producing activity so in the pockets of your life in the pockets of your life yarin and that is yeah. what you are saying that as a mom and as a wife and as a business owner you can plan your day to suit your own personal rhythms where you are most effective. I love that, Yarin. Thank you for sharing that. Um, this woman is going places. Let's give it up for Namibia. 
Namibia and all the success, <laughs> Yarin, huge, huge, huge congratulations. Um, Tam, I want to pull up, I want to ask Anthony to pull up Michelle Blanchard to you, uh, to us. Michelle um, is just an amazing woman. She is very busy. She is a mommy of two. Her husband leads a very busy life. Michelle, thank you for joining us today. Um, you're just one amazing woman. I, we love you. You know, you are so loved. But I want you to share with the people why you started this business. What was the tipping point and what motivated you to start out your business? Thank you, Erica. You're so sweet. And I always love being able to share this, this venture and this journey with you. So for me, what got me started was that, you know, you talk about being a mom and running a business and having all of the, you know, the busy things and the crazy life. And I just found myself in a place where I didn't feel good. I was grouchy. I had no energy. I was really struggling to keep all of the balls in the air, you know, the juggling of everything going on. And so this came to me as an opportunity to do something for my health that would help me to feel better. And I honestly didn't even know that there was an opportunity with this to create a business and a financial resource for my family. And at that time, if it had been shared with me that way, I probably would have said no, to be very honest. And so I just started out like Gavin said, to take care of myself and doing something to help my body. And as I did that, and I started to see changes. In fact, I told my sponsor, I'm not saying anything to anybody, like nobody, unless I notice something different. And it was such a difference that I went, oh my gosh, people have to know about this. Yeah. And so I started telling my family and I started telling people around me and then, you know, some people who I didn't know very well, but who would see my social media posts and who would see me in person, they'd go, you are just, you're glowing. Your energy is different. Like, what are you doing? And so it started to benefit me physically. And I wanted to share that with people. You know, my heart has always been to encourage and uplift people. And when I found something that was making such a difference to me day to day, I wanted to carry on that encouragement and uplifting uh, mindset into other ways that are practical to real live people in everyday situations where they could begin to change their circumstances. Mm -hmm. And then along the way, I realized, oh, when I'm doing that, when I'm serving people, when I'm helping moms to recover from, you know, the childbirth process, the weight loss, the energy situation with new babies and stuff. I went, wait, what? I can make money too. And I can, support, I can help support my family. I can help other moms who want to stay home with their babies to make an income. How, how is that even possible? So huge. But it is possible. And, you know, that is my heart that people... I serve in my other business are primarily mamas with new yeah. babies. And so being able to extend what I already do and they kind of weave in together. And that's one of the things I love about this is that you can weave it into what you're already doing and your, your everyday life. I love that. So tell me something, be honest now. And I don't know that I could be any other way with you, Erica, but go ahead, ask your question. <laughs> so can anybody do this business? Anybody, anybody who wants to. That's the key. You have to want it because it's not going to just fall in your lap and all of a sudden, oh, I have a big team. Oh, I have a residual income. You know, I think that's a misconception in this industry is that you get some products and you talk to five people and then all of a sudden you just have this successful business, but it doesn't work that way. So I will say that anyone who wants it, who is hungry, who is willing to learn, who is coachable 
and will take the input from people who are farther down the road than they are and where they want to be, those people can do it. So can anyone, if they choose it, absolutely. So Michelle, you're here in the US, you're very successful. And um, yeah, we're just blessed to know you, but tell me something, how would you have felt if this opportunity came to you and you were one of the first in a continent to be introduced to this opportunity. How would you have seen that opportunity? How would you, how would your, what would your perspective have been? I have goosebumps right now, just envisioning that because there is so much potential when you are on the front wave of a new thing. And that's what this is. It's a new thing and a new age for new opportunities in Africa. And the just knowing what it's like in business to be, you know, one of the first who starts a new style, a new trend, you know, you become known for that. And there's, there's massive benefit to that. And people who follow behind, they can tap in to that. But being one of those first, oh my gosh, it's just an unreal opportunity to, to really, and for us with what's going on in Africa, to begin to change the trajectory of a nation. Yeah. Wow. Health and of finances. Go I got the goosebumps now, girl. I got the goosebumps. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh Sam, do you want to add to that? I know you do. Do I want to? Of course. Of course I do. I am... First of all, Michelle, thank you. And it's so true. It's like the opportunity is so incredible that when we look at it from North America, uh, although we are an unsaturated area, but nothing like what they are about to experience in Africa. And so you are at the perfect place at the perfect time with the perfect team to actually change, transform, not just information, transformation, changing people's lives is what we are all about. So it's really awesome. Thank you, Michelle. That was Thanks, Shelly. Yeah. We appreciate Shelly, it, girl. Everyone. Thank you. And Tam, I want to invite a woman that is really a leader in Africa. And I wanted to speak a bit about leadership and doing business. Now, I want to tell you she's beautiful. She's very smart. She's finishing up a financial planning course. She's just all over the place, but she's determined. And can we spotlight Lindy Lantman and invite Lindy onto um, the platform with me and Tammy? Lindy, there you are. Lindy, you're on mute, I think. There we go. Hello, here I am. Oh, hello. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Lindy. I just have to say one thing. Thank about you for Lindy. having me. First time I met her on Zoom, I thought, I think she's 12. <laughs> <laughs> she looks I'm like, I don't know. Thank she you. She has two thank kids. You. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. This is, yeah. She's oh, a, thank you, Tammy. Oh, 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 my gosh. It's so true. So, Lindy, you guys, you and Pruan, your leaders in South Africa, and you guys, yes. uh, you've been involved for a few months. Talk to us about the business side of it. Talk to us about from a business point of view, what excites you about what is happening and what is coming? I mean, we've journeyed for months, almost on good faith, right? Now we're at a place where we are seeing stuff happen and, you know, Craig the Brain and his team are working nonstop and um, Jared is on this call, I think. Jared, thanks. Yes. Hey, Jared. <laughs> So tell us about your perspective. How do you feel about all of this? So, Erica, let's start at the beginning. When we started talking, it was round about when we in South Africa, when we into, went into a hard lockdown. Oh. So at the end of March last year, we went into a lockdown. Everyone stays at home. No one moves. No one does everything. One person can go out of the house and go shopping. It was intense. Little did we know that this was exactly what we were looking for. When you started talking to us, um, I'm the type of person, I just jump in. I'm like, that sounds amazing. Let's do it. We'll figure it out later. Let's go. 
my husband is like, Lindy, whoa, whoa, let's just, let's listen, let's talk, let's think, let's talk, let's think. the whole time. Um, but I was so excited to talk with you about this opportunity, to talk with Tammy. We spoke that time, we spoke to Ian. Yeah. We were speaking to Ian about the opportunity and it was amazing. Um, I remember Fruan saying at a point when he clicked, he couldn't sleep for three days. And I can tell you he did not sleep because I also couldn't sleep because he was so busy next to me. We were so excited about this because we're business people. Yeah. Um, you know, we love new business opportunities. We love challenges. Um, we love figuring things out. And when we saw the potential of this in Africa, not just South Africa, in Africa, yeah. we could not say no. You can't say no to such a big opportunity because this really, I feel this will come around once in your life a big opportunity like this to not only change your life, but to change people's lives around you, oh, no. to bring hope to, that we need hope. I mean, COVID has left a lot of people, um, you know, down in the dumps or in despair. And what we need now is we need to bring people hope. We need to yeah. show them there's a future, there is, so much more than what we are seeing if we can believe and trust and just know that we were made for a time like this okay. we were made for this so a uh, COVID that's happening is not something that's going to knock us down because we were made for this this wow. is where we're supposed to be and i'm so excited because when we received that instagram post with the 10th of june Yes, I was, I was shouting, I was screaming, I was... Oh, come I on, you were screaming, we were all screaming. <laughs> I was so excited, I was thinking, oh my goodness, I, I did repost that, and you will see it's got a countdown timer, it says 10 days, <laughs> so it's on a countdown, I'm timing it, second so by excited. second, I cannot oh wait for God. this. <laughs> So, Lizzie, I want to ask you um, to yes. explain something to maybe somebody who's listening to this for the first time and trying to figure out what we are so excited about. Fruan has such a great analogy that he uses to explain the business, how you have two hands and you only have 20 mm. hours. Can you, um, can you kind of elaborate on that, Lens? What is the thought process behind multiplication? Um, so... Yes, everyone explains it very well. Um, you know, you have two hands and only 24 hours and you can only get so much done. Um, as in any business, this business or our financial advisory business, we can only do so much. You need people to duplicate what you're doing. You need people to help you. That is how we grow. So to be, you can be successful on your own. Yeah. But the... Success actually really truly only comes when you can duplicate, when you have a team, when you grow together and when you do it together because you play on each other's strengths. Yeah. He is an amazing, um, he's very um, analytical. So he can explain the compensation plan very easily. Um, don't ask me to do that. I just think it's amazing and yes, it works. Um, and I get paid. That's all I want yes. to know. That I get paid. That's the thing. <laughs> you know, so we play on each other's strengths, and if you can learn to do that, and you can use each other's strengths, you're going to get so much further than yeah. what you would have gotten if you tried to do it alone. Yes, yeah. and it's yeah. more fun, Lindy. Don't you think? It's a lot more fun. We laugh like crazy. We also cry together sometimes, right? We do life. Yes. We do life yes. together. And I know um, when Tammy was speaking, she said um, for her it was about the financial um, transformation. For me, it's about the people. I am so honored to have met every single person that I've met here. And it's enriched my life so much, more than, 
I'm not going to say more than the business can, but this business has given me means to meet more people than I ever would have in my life. I mean, I'm so thankful for this. This is this, this is industry has a love for people. Yeah. And I love the people because they love people. It's just oh, beautiful. Wow. I yes. love it. And Lent, you know what? This is only the beginning. This is I, mean, I know. <laughs> it's been in a while, but I'm telling you, this is only the beginning. And you guys, I wanted mm -hmm. you to meet this amazing woman, Lindy Landman. Mm -hmm. Um, please give it up for Lindy. She is just awesome. Linz, thanks for joining us. We so appreciate everything that you do. You are working extremely hard at the moment and we are running with you, behind you, in front of you, next to you, all over the show. And we want to see you guys succeed. So thanks for everything that you guys do. We love you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me, Erica. Um, I enjoyed this and I can't wait to oh. see what's coming. So, <laughs> you guys, I want to invite um, an awesome, awesome woman that I had the honor of knowing about. We knew about each other, but we never ever, we met, but we never became friends. And we're actually from the same town and the same circles. And I want to ask you to bring up Andre Powell to join me and Tammy on the screen. And um, Andre welcome thank you for joining us hi, hi ladies hi thanks hi erica thank you so much guys what an honor wow this is this is like i think like marina really felt when she opened up her stage with all this women <laughs> Right. I kind of felt nice. the same way. I'm like, Eric, Lori needs to see art. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the honor, honor, girl. Say, own it. I want to say a huge congratulations with your anniversary. I mean, oh, you thank guys you guys. Oh, having an amazing time. I think you're still yes. in the mountains. Am I correct? No, we are back, back to reality, but it was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> so, Andre, you and I, I mean, we go back a bit, right? But a long time. A long time. And mm. tell us about how do you feel about this business? Honestly, seriously, nobody's watching. Like, <laughs> nobody's watching, just 78 people. That's fine. <laughs> um, what well, this business? Erika, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I didn't I didn't look out for this business. I didn't I didn't went out and say, I wonder which multi-level marketing company I can join to start doing my business. I was um, living or I am still living my purpose. I'm working with young children and, and women and young people. And um, I just felt, you know, I, I was living my purpose and that was it. Um, this business found me. Um, and not just me, it actually found us, my husband and, 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 and me. And, um, you know, it actually, as, as we look back now, it's as if God prepared us. Um, I'm, a, I'm a godly woman, so um, no offense to anyone on this call, but um, uh, I, it, it felt like God prepared us. One day, Jimmy and I will tell our whole full story of our background and where we're coming from, but it, it feels like we were prepared and we had to walk a road to get exactly at this time um, where we have to be now. Um, and this company was was that. We were prepared for this company. Um, I have never been so excited. I think it's also a bit more exciting in my house because Jimmy and I are doing this together. Um, I think he's more excited than I am. And I was also, I laughed when Lindy said she will jump to any opportunity because that was the same with us. You know, I walked in and I'm like, Cliffy, yeah, I heard about this company and he was rolling his eyes and like, here we go again. And when we actually sat down with you guys, I remember that Zoom, Zoom as, as if it was yesterday, you know, something clicked. It's something just happened. It was just like, this is it. This, this is the people we were going to walk this road to. We were, this, this is just what we were prepared for. So yeah, this has been such an amazing time. It's really I, I don't know. I, I can't comprehend. I can't actually put it into words. The, the excitement that we have, um, the 10th of June, how we're excited for that, the ups and downs, the cries, the loves, the getting to know the people. Um, you know, it, it's, it's hard work. I'm not going to lie to anyone on the Zoom tonight. It's hard work. We, I'm, I'm, um, I've got five businesses that, that I run. Um, and if you don't set out time for this, then, you know, it's not going to happen if you don't put out that one hour or two hours a day it's not going to happen it's like 
Yeah. Wow. Well, Andre, Jimmy and you guys do an amazing video about the power of multi-level marketing. And I just want to say there is a lot of misconception about multi-level marketing. Um, I've heard the most craziest stories from pyramid schemes straight through to you name it. And I'm sure all of that does exist, but that is not who we are. Um, will you expand a little bit about MLM and why we believe this is a great industry, right? We're passionate about it because maybe because we're moms and we fit it into the pockets of our lives, like Sam said, but talk to us about your perception and Gemma's perception on MLM and the power of the drop on the rugby field. Yes. <laughs> um, the thing is, um, uh, Erica, people look at it, you know, on, on, from a point of view, it is multi-level marketing in some countries have a very bad name. And unfortunately, you know, you are sometimes so scared to say I am from or I'm doing multi-level level marketing. And, you know, we've, you know, I'm so proud that I stand and talk to people in queues in Woolworths about or how white, you know, join my team. You know, I'm not scared about talking. And I think that's the beauty of this. But the only place where this is a pyramid scheme is if you are so small minded to look at only your organization where you are at the top and you start building people that looks like a pyramid that's the only pyramid in the whole sentence but if you have a vision of what this company looks like you will see there's nothing pyramid about this not even the way that it's built you know we are building into each other's organizations and that makes that we never go out like that you go down and you go deep and you go you know, into that. So for me, you know, the pyramid scheme thing is like, I just start laughing when people tell, you know, ask me that. I, I just actually throw it back to them. But yes, I would love to share my husband's story on um, on rugby and, and um, you know, the whole rugby field. So it was all about this, um, you know, in COVID, they were talking about, um, you know, why did, why was COVID so, so dangerous? Why did you have to isolate when you have COVID and, and all those things? And they explain it as a drop in the rugby field, in the middle of the rugby field. And they said that if you take a rugby stadium, like a big, huge stadium, um, you know, anywhere where you, you know, any, everyone on the Zoom where you are now, let's think of the biggest stadium where you are, and you put a drop of water in the center of that um, of that stadium in the center point on the grass and that drop multiply every second so the one drop become two the two four four you know every minute and um, every minute that that my husband is like talking you from the side you know <laughs> just <laughs> correcting me <laughs> and if that drop um multiply every minute it will take 45 minutes for the whole grass area up to the first level of chairs to be covered in water. And if you are sitting in that stand, you have exactly four minutes to get out because from that 45 minutes of the water in the whole rugby stadium on the grass, it takes four minutes for that water to overflow the whole rugby stadium. Wow. And um, that's multiplication, guys. We are in the 44th minute of this journey with New Age. The moment we launch, we are ticking over into multiplication. And when this company is going to go out there, your, your grass needs to be filled because then it's going to overflow. And that's why putting people in spots is so important now. I, I don't, you know, we're not just saying that because we would like to see you, you know, build your four people or, and they build and, you know, that. But that's the knowledge that can happen in your business. And you will see instant gratification and instant multiplication happen and you will see instant wealth health transformations and we are going to change the world and just to end from my side because i will keep you busy all night you must you know you must meet me before i will shut up is um this company i just want to say to everyone on here tonight is this company is launching with or without us this company is going to be the biggest um social selling um, company in the world we are going to be number one and if you are tired of waiting hang on it's going to happen if you want to jump off the bus now you are going to see the train and the bus leave so hang in there guys i know you are tired and i know you want to see 
you want to see things happen and it's happening um it's really uh, we are so excited we are, and you know thank you for locking arms with us and everyone on the zoom it's amazing and it's awesome to be with you you know in this business you are all family to us you are family to us too andre we love you guys very much and i just love the way you and jimmy see things and you're great leaders and i am thank telling you, you the sky is the limit for you and your team and we love namibia and um, everything that is happening there we are thrilled for you guys yeah so we, we love everyone thanks erica <laughs> thanks for everyone's hard work guys it's a pleasure to be on here so guys in saying all of that um this is a business it is hard work we work as a team you don't work alone but it is indeed hard work and one woman that exemplifies hard work is a woman by the name of Heidri Stander. Heidri and Bernard Stander are based in Cape Town. They have a house in Melville Strand. She is a businesswoman. She has um, an awesome business that she and Bernard runs. But Heidri saw this opportunity. Heidri, welcome. Man, we are thrilled to have you on today. And I see Bernard is chatting in the chat boxes and for a guy that wasn't even on the Zooms, he's made quite a transformation. <laughs> so tell us about tell us about your journey. He was right? eavesdropping, right? Like the Zooms right. were going on. He was sitting in the other room pretending he was busy, and he was listening to everything that was going on. Yes. Uh, Erica, thank you so much. Um, it's an absolute honor and privilege to be on the Zoom um, with you guys tonight. But um, yeah, it's been an experience. I can't tell you. Um, you know, in the beginning, it was like when, when Alna mentioned this to me, this opportunity, I was like, I don't have time. Please, you know, no ways. I'm not, there's no way. And um, she said, oh, just listen to one Zoom. And I thought, I listen to one Zoom, right? And then I can say to her, no, I've listened to the Zoom. It sounds great. You do it. But you know what? I'll support you. And, um, and it was just the most amazing thing. I listened to that very first Zoom. And um, Tirika, you and Tammy were on. Um, Fruan was on that Zoom as well. And it was just amazing the passion that you guys had. And, and you know, the passion for the people of Africa to help everybody here. And, um, and there were so many things that you guys said that evening that just you know, it made so much sense for me, you know, just worrying about an economy that we live in in South Africa. And, um, and that's a worry that, that we all have in South Africa. And um, the things that you guys said that evening is that, you know, anybody can do this business. We don't have to be just the top few people in South Africa, but everybody in Africa can do this. Yeah. So that for me was absolutely amazing. Um, and the second thing was, was a big thing for me, the residual income, because we don't have that in South Africa. You know, if you don't have a pension fund that's going to pay you out one day, you are going to grow old and you might not have something to sustain you for your old day. Yep. And so that was quite important for me, Erica. That was a big yep. eye opener for me. And what about your kiddos? They, uh, oh, I mean, they played a huge part in this too. Yeah, no, true. They, they love it. Um, obviously, whenever I'm on a Zoom, you know, they're around and they listen. And so, yeah, some of the names, you know, in the U.S. has become like household names for us here in, in South Africa. And, um, and the kids know, we talk about, they know who Tammy is and they know who Erica is and they know Brent Palmer. And, um, and you know, they, they hear what we're talking about. And they, the thing that they hear mostly is an opportunity and hope. And yeah. I think, you know, those are the things that, that even, you know, they're 14 and 17 and 18 years old, but those are words that they know people are concerned about in South Africa, you know, what are they going to do when they, when they finish with school? Um, you know, will there be an opportunity for them here? And so this company and what you hear all the time is the word hope, yeah. you know, and, and, and for them, they realize now there's hope for us in Africa and they are passionate about the products already. They, they selling it to the, to their math teachers. Um, it's hilarious. They know the products um, and, and we love the products. We use the products in a house every single day. Um, today, for example, it was month end, like most of you know, and um, I have elite guys, when you feel stressed, take a little sachet of elite and it's just amazing stuff. And you can do month end with a smile. So um, yeah, we love everything about the company. The, the, uh, we, as a, we as a family love it, every single one of us. Yeah, you can incorporate your whole family into this, right? Oh, sure. Maybe you guys are building successfully. Now, 
for those of us watching that might not be familiar with us, we are still in pre-launch season. We are waiting for the release of African products by Africa, for Africa, and at an African price point, right? Mm -hmm. We are still in pre-launch season. And what that means is we have a huge, huge focus on locking your spot. In other words, building your organization, because hey, three, we can do that for free. The boss is free. And the boss really just means your business operating system so that you can start building your organization. Andy, you guys are enrolling at the speed of lightning. For you, for a person that might be investigating this as an opportunity, Han boss, Bernard, yes, go boss. <laughs> um, Andy, how are you, how are you, give some practical tips for somebody who's listening and says, I want to jump in. How do you build? How do you take it from there? Yeah, guys, I, I mean, this is an opportunity, I say, that we in our lifetime will never, ever get again. I mean, we have an opportunity now to buy and uh, to, to build an entire business for free. Um, and so a lot of people, you know, I, I get I, a lot of time I speak with people and they say to me, yeah, but my people want to see the products first. You know, they want to see the products before they're going to start to build a team. And, um, and you know what I say to them is that, guys, you, we are now building a vision. We are building something for the future. And so if this person trusts you, and I believe it all starts with trust. Um, you know, I trusted the person that, that, you know, obviously told me about the business. And, um, and I, first of all, went to the people that I knew trust me. And I told them about the business. And so, you know, whether we know what the products is going to be or not, we've got an opportunity to get involved in a business for, for free. It's not going to cost you anything. And, um, and I say to everybody, just lock your spot, guys, because you do not want to miss this. Um, like Andre said, you don't want to miss the train. The train is going to take off at a speed of lightning. And if you're not on that train, you're going to miss, you're going to miss it. You know, getting on the train is not even going to cost you a ticket. Just get on it. And but, once but the product please. comes out. So let's and you say, Adri, I'm enrolling and I've got my boss. Take yes. me from there. How do I build a business from this? What do I need to do? You need to talk to people. You need to talk to people, every single one. Doesn't matter whether, like Andre said, in pick and pay, checkers, Woolworths, um, on the taxi, you know, tell the people about opportunity. Get them to enroll for free. Get them to sign on. Once they've signed on, they will go and they'll see the opportunity in this business. And then, you know, and then just go, I, I've got a method, the four by four. You know, we in South Africa don't have customers yet. We don't do the products yet. So we only enroll um, reps. So, for example, my team, they know, they push, they get their four people. Those four people get the four people. And, you know, if you think about it, to only get four people, it's not that scary. But when you think you have to go get thousands of people, it's quite scary because you might think, I can't do that. But if you tell a person, you don't have to get thousands, you don't have to get hundreds, just get four, get four people. And once those people, when you have your four, it was only you working. But now all of a sudden, you've got four people working. And, and when those four people get four people, you've got 16 people yes. working. Yes. And, so, and the people love that. When, once they see that, opportunity of just getting four people they all feel they can do it they can get four people and so, that's how we've been building and it's working so Heidi and you guys are doing it the right way and I want to highlight this what is the importance of training your team and locking arms with other team members to accomplish your goals oh my goodness that is probably one of the most important things um, I don't think it's going to help if you have I have a team, but nobody in your team knows what's going on. So we do need to train our people. Um, what we do in our teams, we identify certain people that we can already see the potential in being a strong leader. And we take time to train those specific people and then they can go out and they can train again their people. So, you know, because you can't get to everybody, it's impossible, you know, and, and that's where duplication is great. And if you've got teams and team leaders, um, that can assist each other like we've got in South Africa. I mean, we are, we've, got, we've got team leaders and we all work well. It's, it's, I mean, I can phone Anri or Yulandi and Bloemfontein and say, listen, I've got somebody there. Can you go talk to them? 
And um, it's so amazing. I mean, they feel like sisters to me. They don't even feel like people I've never met. Oh, actually, I have met them quickly. But, um, you know, we, we don't really know each other, but it feels like we know each other so well. So um, to have that and just to have that support. I mean, you know, yeah. Nick's sitting in Johannesburg. We, everywhere we've got somebody that we can really rely on. Um, and then I can pick up the phone and, and phone them and ask them for the help. It makes a huge, huge difference to know that you have the backing. So, yeah, I think that's really important. Yeah, you're by yourself, but you're not by yourself, right? You're no. for yourself, but not by yourself. Yeah, it's teamwork. So, it's teamwork. It's teamwork, you guys. And so, Avery, a huge congratulations to you yes, and Kuna on your team in Africa, in Botswana, in Cape Town. You guys are just working all over the place. And may Thank this you. just be the beginning for you and Bernard Heidi. We are shouting for you guys. We are, you know, Tam and I, Tam, we, we might not, well, we might look at two, but don't you think we're just the best cheerleaders in the world? <laughs> I was a cheerleader. I was a real cheerleader. You were a cheerleader. Big surprise, big surprise. <laughs> oh, oh, you God. guys are just amazing without you guys none of us would have been here thank no. you so much well thanks for joining us Adri. we love you guys and a huge congratulations you. to you so guys i there you have a little bit of a picture of the business right and i hope you're kind of to put beginning to put pieces of the puzzle together now you might be sitting here saying erica i don't do sales i'm not good at sales i don't know how to talk to people well i want to bring up um an amazing woman and i almost think that um yulandi Coopers will be our last guest for today um and if we can bring up yulandi Coopers, yulandi Yay! is an amazing woman she's a mommy She's a rock star, is what she is. She's a rock star, she's a mommy, she's a wife, she's a business owner. Yola, thank you for joining us. We just love working with Yola, with you, Yolandi, and she's just an amazing woman. So, Yolandi, tell us. Hello. Tell us, tell us how are you doing? Tell us how you got started. Tell us how passionate you are. Tell us whatever you want to tell us. We will listen. <laughs> where do I start okay so um I got introduced to this opportunity um eight months ago and I must admit I think the majority especially of South Africans and people who's not educated around network marketing I immediately said this is not for me. Even though I work in marketing, even though my passion is people, I saw this and I went, no, I'm sorry. This is not me. I don't want to do that, you know. And I shot an opportunity down because I had no idea what this business is about. And Andre and I had the same, you know, we had a we we have coffee almost every single day and sometimes twice if we can. And we had a chat about this. And I said to her, Andre, this is the thing, you know, for us who joined New Age eight months ago, we started with this big bang of this hype. We in pre-launch, we pioneers, we we bought into this business not with a cheap penny, you know, it was expensive, but we wanted it because we saw the opportunity. But, you know, for, especially I think in the beginning of the year, we all like sitting at the end because we, we almost launching and we don't know what's coming. And then I said to her today, you know what, Andre, we know actually 100% what to do because we, we've been in this ball game for so long. And, and don't, don't get me wrong when I say we know exactly what to do. When I started, I knew nothing about network marketing. I had no idea what this is all about. And I had a misperception. And if Anri did not continued to ask me, have I made time for it? Have I made time for it? I say it was eight weeks. She said it was 12. It might be 14. <laughs> but I, I trusted her right. because she's my friend. And yes, um, we business partners and other businesses, but this made her excited. I, even though it was during COVID and we couldn't really spend time together, every time we spoke over the phone or we had a 
cheeky coffee, one sitting on the grass and the other one on the on the pavement. <laughs> um, the excitement was there and I could see that it's starting to change, not just Andre's life, but Jimmy's life as well. I mean, I, I've known them for a couple of years. I fell off my chair the day Jimmy posted his first Instagram post. I, I was like, that. it's pink. It's yes. pink and it's Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's the thing, you know, this is one of the biggest self-development programs yes. I've ever been. Yes. I usually I go, I'm a very big advocate when it when it comes to family time, it's family time. Um, yes, I'm a hard worker. Yes, I push through. Andre and I usually for six months of the year, we work straight through till 12 o'clock every night. We don't see our family. We work hard. But when you become selfish in some parts where you go, you put your phone down, you yeah. don't want to do anything. You just want to, you know, relax. But this is not work. This is something completely different. Yes, you connect and you have to put in time, but what you're getting out of this is far more than just a financial re reimbursement. It is. So, so Yana, what are you getting out of it? Growth so and friendships and future. And, you know, you. It, I think especially if you come from South Africa uh, or people who's, who's, who hasn't really traveled the world, you know, when you actually see how people from all over the world invest in you as a person, it yeah. becomes empowering. It really becomes emp empowering. And I just want to say, you know, to, to everyone that's, yeah, that, that's sitting, waiting to get started, just start. Just start, take the leap of faith. No matter how many mistakes you're gonna make, just start. I remember the first time I had to do a call to someone to pitch the business to them. I spoke all over myself. At a stage, I just said, you know what? I've got no idea what I'm talking about. I've got no idea what's in these products, but I'm just telling you, this is gonna be a hell of a ride. Just stick with me, I'm gonna take you with me. And you know- Get now, on the bus, just get on the bus. <laughs> Just get on the bus. And you know what? That's that's the point I wanted to make earlier when, when Andre and I had a coffee. You know, I said to her, the most important thing that we can tell people now, yes, we all about lock your spot or, you know, get on board. I just want to say, take this time until the 10th of June to tell people about your business, to tell people what has happened and what is coming for you and they want to share that with you and th th that's my that's my main thing and it's like one, what Andre said people would want to come up and you uh, you said it the other day set yourself on fire and people will drive miles to come and see you burn and that's the thing people pick up when you look happier when you feel happier, when you start smiling, your tone changes, your whole posture changes, and it's just priceless. So Yola, I want to ask you um, about this. Talk to us about if you have a Facebook account, you can do this business. If you have an Instagram account, you can do this business. Talk to us about social selling. Okay. Um, people like to buy, they don't like to be sold to. So, you know, that is very important. And another thing that I want everyone that's on the Zoom to also go and Google a little bit, you can go, you can go on to Pinterest and you can go attraction marketing and do your research around attraction marketing. And I always say, Look, they always say a, me a mechanic's car is broken. So <laughs> my social media is not where it's supposed to be because I'm all over the place with everyone else. And when it comes to myself, I just got to, oh, I don't know. My brain is just not working anymore, but it works. I last week, I put up one post and I got four prospects from that four prospects and it was a story the story was 24 hours and it wasn't um buy into this opportunity or buy this product or that it was just purely hey this is me I'm doing what I'm I love what I'm doing 
And if you if you want to feel this way, follow me. And then you get people to go, you know, tell me more about the opportunity. And that's one thing that we need to remember going forward as well. Everybody does their business differently. Sure. But um, you just have to show up. That's the only thing. You have to show up, show people who you are and be you and be real. And that's what people relate to because people will go like, like Cindy's journey. Uh, all of us shared her posts and we, we just, we just bursting from excitement because this woman has done so, so great. And people see that and they go, like Cindy said, she doesn't even know the people from a bar of soap, but they go like, hey, what did you do? You look so great. Tell me more. And that is, uh, that's teamwork. Because yeah. with, without, how do, you, how do you say it? You are actually advertising her business and you do it with love. Because at the end of the day, you yes, you're in it for yourself, but we all in it, sorry, together. And that's that's the beauty of it. And tell us, what if somebody says, this sounds wonderful. I still don't get the business. I still don't get the product. I'm like, woo. How about um, training? And, and what can a person like that do next and expect to see? Okay. Um, it could be overwhelming for a person at first. It could be because I promise you, I bought into the business for the first week. I didn't even open my ex office because I was so busy and it happens, you know, it happens to, to the majority of us, but I want to encourage everyone, <coughs> sorry, to start researching Rx and new age as a whole, go onto your ex office, go through all the boss videos, go through all the report systems, familiarize yourself, even though our website is going to change. But if you've got no idea of this business, you know, what they've put out there for us to use now, honey, then I don't know. It's like KFC and I'm, 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 I'm using KFC because it's an easy example. If you buy a franchise, Okay, it's a business because this is a business. If it's network marketing, if it's KFC, if it's a car wash, it's a business. But this is exactly like that. So you've got KFC coming into South Africa. They are number one all over the world. But they say to you, we're opening up in South Africa. You know the brand for the chicken, but in South Africa, it doesn't appeal, just chicken doesn't appeal to the, 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 the end user. So we have to add pup and we have to add corn, but it's taking a while because they have to get the process right. So this is basically the same. Wow. New age yeah. is getting the process ready for us to appeal to us as a nation, as an African nation. Doesn't mean the products are gonna be less um, okay. of quality it doesn't mean that the compensation plan is going to be worse we know the compensation plan we know the products we know the values we know the bill of right it's going to be the same it's just going to be in rand and the products are just going to be modified for the end user and that is why we love our yola right there <laughs> no we, kidding. we get it yola you've got a way of saying things that just breaks it down so that all of us can understand it and that is why you're so stinking successful right you're just so beautiful and so successful and we celebrate oh, your you. success with you and andre just said andre said it will be finger licking good <laughs> we had such a laugh because we were chatting about our boss trainings and you know how to kickstart everyone because we're doing that on wednesday and we go like okay we need to get the right thing through and i said to her, Anri, it's exactly the same as what we've been doing. And I know we've all been breaking because you're so excited, but you stop at a point and you go like, I don't know what to do anymore in my business because we're at the, at the nearly at the end of, of the beginning. Yeah. And 
we just need to continue doing what we are doing and that's it huh? we with, just need with to know that it's going to be finger licking good right it <laughs> is going to be don't ever good. forget that phrase don't and forget don't that it's phrase. come back around and around <laughs> <laughs> so guys i want to thank you yola for sharing with us that was a lot of wisdom <laughs> coming from you thanks for that we appreciate that um, guys, and in saying all of that, I want to invite you to go back to the person that invited you to the Zoom. Give them feedback on what you heard that spoke to you. What did you hear that frightens you? And what did you hear that really excites you? And then ask them, how do I get started? I want to encourage you, this business is a process business. And that's why it's important to lock arms with somebody that has been through the process because they will be able to coach you and say, next step, do this, next step, do that. And before you know it, the 10th of June will be on us where Craig Dubrain and his team will be chatting to everybody in Africa, giving us some insight and wisdom and strategy on the plans ahead you guys i don't want you to miss that zoom be on it the 10th of june 8 p.m sa time keep your eyes on social media you can go to new age africa movement on facebook you can go to new age itself on instagram and on facebook you can look for nick papas's group um, everybody's all over at the moment and you will find the information now i want to tell you tomorrow if you have doubts about MLM, if you're saying, man, this MLM thing is scaring me, I want to invite you to a Zoom that the Epic Tribe has put together under the leadership of Lindy and Fruan Landman. And they are having an amazing Zoom with Rick Redford. Now, Rick Redford is the president of North America, Mexico, and Canada. He is so well informed on what is an MLM, how does an MLM work, and why is an MLM a good idea, even amidst a lot of bad publicity. Um, he's the guy to answer your questions, and I want you on that Zoom. So check out our Facebook group, speak to the person that invited you, and get on that Zoom, and get your questions answered. Now, if you want to know more about New Age, and how the business works specifically within the context of New Age, I want to tell you, Wednesday, Andre Powell and Yolandi Coopers and the um, Team United girls and gents will be hosting.